Who wants to wake up and one day, you got 15,000 square feet, you got 100 staff, you're gonna do 13 million bucks a year, okay? And I'm not saying just because I am, I'm saying because you deserve it, okay? I'm saying because you can do it as well, I promise you, if, if I do anything, you can too. That's what I believe. The problem with those people is they don't believe it, okay? They don't believe it. Who's already enjoying this so far? Okay, who's already enjoying this so far? Okay, who's already enjoying this so far? Yeah! Who's already enjoying this so far? Okay. Who, who is enjoying this so far? Okay. Yeah. Come on! We awake? We ready? Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Okay? Thank you guys, okay? Appreciate you being here. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right? I know you can go to any of these, and I'm sure they'll all be amazing. I can promise you this one will just be a little bit better, okay? Guaranteed, right? Yes. When we're in cells, do we need to speak like that or do we need to speak like that? Yes. Who could get better at speaking like that, by the way? Okay. I'm telling you, when you are in cells and you're sitting across from someone, if you believe you can help them and you don't, is that a problem? Yes. It is a problem. Okay. That is a problem. All right. I want to ask you some questions, kick this thing off, and get you thinking a little bit this morning. Okay. Who knows they have another gear? Who knows, Sim, that they can get to another level? Who believes that I can personally help you get to another level? Okay, most of you. Okay, good, good. I'm gonna do my very best for the next 30, 40 minutes to make sure you do that, okay? I could go for eight hours, however, I'm not going to, right? I got like 50 minutes, plus I don't really like talking for a whole hour. I'd really just get up for like 30 and get excited and give away money, maybe, maybe not. Okay, we'll see, okay? We'll see how excited you guys are, okay? All right, so we're here to talk about how to go from six to seven figures with recruiting, okay? By show of hands, who has agents or staff or a team in any way, okay? By show of hands, who would like to have agents, staff, or a team in any way, okay? <laughs> Good, everybody's hands should have went up, by the way, okay? Why? Because I can tell you I could not do anything without my team, okay? Like you see me traveling with an entourage, right? It's because they're all smarter than me. I may, I, may be, I, may, I may be better looking, okay? <laughs> but trust me, they are smarter than I am. But at some point, you got to get smart, right? And realize, because most people think, well, here's, here's what a lot of people struggle with, by the way, okay? Here's what a lot of people struggle with. They struggle with, like, letting go of control of everything. They're like, no, 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 no. I'm checking my own emails. Who realizes they got some stuff in their life they need to let control of? Okay, they need to let that, they need to let that crap go. Okay, so here's what we're going to start with. We're going to start this morning as I get up my note cards. Okay, give me a second, all right? Okay, give me a second, all right? You guys, you guys realize that uh, I have freaking love what I do and have a ton of fun. Can anybody else tell that, yeah. by the way? Okay, does that show? Okay, how often, how much do we need to have fun when we do something, by the way? We have to have fun, right? If we're not having fun, why are we doing it? Okay, who was the first person here this morning? Well, okay, I think say, it can't be three of you, but okay, all right. And you were the second or third, and then you were the second or third, right? Right, maybe, maybe not? Okay. Okay, thank you guys. Okay, give them a hand for being here early, by the way. You better, you better believe at 5.45 this morning, I did not want to get out of bed, okay? My alarm goes off. Who else was like, oh my gosh, breakouts are at 8 o'clock, Andrew. Come on. And how cold is it going to be? And how cold is it going to be? It's actually okay in this room. I told him, hey, this is my room. Don't be freezing up my room, man. Come on now. Put it at like, put it at like 70, 72 Okay, not 62, right? There's a big difference, okay? That's right, that's right, that's right, okay? That's right. Here's what I want to start with. As I go through six different points this morning on how to go from six to seven figures by building out a team, building out a sales team, recruiting, and adding people, okay? 
We have between Secure Insurance Group, Secure Agent Marketing, Cody Askins, Neighbors and Nation, we have over 100 employees and staff wow. in Springfield, Missouri. Okay, thank you. My dad's got about 1,000 agents. Um, we have 15,000 square feet between two buildings. I just bought the storage facility behind us. I want to buy all the buildings, but the, the dude is an older gentleman. He's like, I don't know what I'd do with my money if I sold it to you. So he's not ready to sell yet, okay? But there's a third building behind us, and I'm like, okay, what do we got to do to get into that space, okay? Who wants to wake up, and one day, you got 15,000 square feet, you got 100 staff, you're going to do 13 million bucks a year, okay? And I'm not saying just because I am. I'm saying because you deserve it, okay? I'm saying because you can do it as well. I promise you, if, there's, if, if I do anything... You can too. That's what I believe. The problem with most people is they don't believe it. Okay? They don't believe it. One of my favorite keynotes on YouTube is by Les Brown. And Les Brown says, Anthony, Les Brown says, it's not over until I win. Who believes that this morning? Okay? Who believes that this morning? Okay? So, I want you to help me out so we can have everybody that's in all the other breakouts run to this one. Okay? I want you to scream, it's not over until I win with me. Okay, you ready? You ready? Because I got to wake you guys up, okay? Because for you to, for you to pay attention, let's stand up too. Come on now, come on now, right? We were up till midnight, right? Nobody wanted to get up at 8 a.m. I don't blame you. I, did, I, I, well, I wanted to get up by 8, surely, obviously, but, okay? All right, we ready? It's not over until I win on the count of three, okay? Three, two, one. It's not over until I win. Come on now, give yourselves a hand, okay? okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, now you're in the right frame of mind for what I'm about to teach you. I can guarantee you, when you apply the things that I'm going to share with you, and when you come to our office in Springfield and spend time with me, when you apply the things that I'm going to teach you, I'm going to share with you, that I've only learned by trial and error and mistakes, by the way, and, and errors, Three and a half years ago, I thought I was the worst business owner on planet Earth. <laughs> I don't believe that anymore. Right? Because I talked about it recently, a couple days ago, how we talk to ourselves matters. Right? Like I was listening to T.D. Jakes. I put him up on my phone in the shower over the uh, little, sh the, there's like the, the, little sham the, the little shampoo. Yeah, yeah. So I'm setting my phone on top. And I'm listening to T.D. Jakes this morning. He's talking about, it's my time. It's my year. It's my year. It's your year. It's your time. Okay, so number one out of six points, we're going to start at the end. We're going to start at the end. So my question for you is, as I talked about it recently, I got to keep checking my watch because who knows, I'll be here until noon. Okay, start at the end because what I talked about a couple days ago was how if you will start with the end in mind and start to create and think about how you can create your ideal life, okay, you can actually start to work backwards. So my question is, when it comes to your team, when it comes to your staff, when it comes to the amount of agents you have, what does that look like? What does that look like? Okay, when you look back, what does that look like? When you think about it now, Anthony, what does that look like? Dude, that dude's going to have a freaking tower in, in Dallas, Texas with like 200 people, okay? Right or right? Dude, you're already doing special stuff, tons of amazing energy. Like, I love that dude, okay? And, he, and we barely know each other. Doesn't hurt that he always wears rocks an 8% backpack too, okay? <laughs> right? So thank you. Start at the end, right? Dude, Marlon, Mar there's not a better story in the interest industry than Marlon's. If there is, I just haven't heard it yet. The dude, I try to talk to him as much as I can. Why? Because the dude started thinking about the end six years ago. He was, I guarantee you, I'm curious, okay, when you were homeless, when you're eating out of trash cans, were you envisioning positive things happening in your life in the future, okay? How, how can he do that? How can that happen? Because he knew deep down he was meant for something more, even though at the time it may not have felt like it, right? I'm telling you, no matter what you're going through, as long as you start at the end and start backtracking this thing and start thinking about, okay, what do I want in a decade, man? What do I want in 20 years? What do I want in 30 years? What do I want in 40 years? What do I want in 50 years? Some of you are like, dude, I'll be 112 years old. Okay. <laughs> 60 years, right? What does that look like? If you had to paint the picture now, you had to make a decision now, right? You had to take action on that now. 
what would it look like? Start to think about that for a second. Like, how do you operate? I don't want one assistant, I want eight. Because <laughs> we got so much incoming demand for me to speak and travel around the world that we need eight people to keep up with it. One of the things I added to my goals recently, after Thursday night, I started writing down on my goals the last two mornings, I'm the best speaker on planet Earth. Because I believe I can be. That's right. Because anything else is holding me back from focusing on me and my best me, right? And your best you, okay? Who's already enjoying this so far? Okay, who's already enjoying this so far? Okay, who's already enjoying this so far? Okay. Who's already enjoying this so far? Okay. Who, who is enjoying this so far? Okay. Now, you go there before you go there. I'm telling you, okay, I write down some freaking insane, crazy stuff every day. Helicopter's new. Best speaker on the planet's new, right? But, I, but every time I get off the stage, I, I get like goosebumps, man. I get goosebumps, and I'm like, how did I get so lucky? And then I'm like, freaking worked your tail off. That's how you got there. But that's the first thing that comes to mind. I'm like, man, how, how, how I meet somebody so cool as Nate, man? How am I so grateful to be doing the things I'm doing? And yeah, I get up and I'm a little crazy and, you know, um, I'm evolving as a speaker because I'm trying to have, start having some fun on stage a little bit and not just be this, you know, no money, just stiff dude, you know. Uh, so I'm trying to have some fun, right? Did you, do you guys enjoy people that get up and have some fun, by the way? Okay, good. Right, right, which is probably why we have the most in our breakout, by the way, okay? But that's another point, okay? All right. Started, and, and I guess I'm competitive because I was a uh, uh, 65 red on uh, the color test. So I, I think it only goes to like 68, by the way, okay? So, or 70, I don't know. It was pretty high, okay? Pretty high, right? Maybe that's, my, that's why my team hates me half the time. They love me or they hate me. I'm like, I don't know, okay? Start at the end, okay? Start thinking about the end now. I literally had zero staff, zero staff. August of 2017. That's ridiculous. And the staff I have now, way better than the staff I had then, by the way. Okay. Hear this. Hear this. There will be times when you lose someone from your organization and you think, like Tiger King said on the uh, TV show, how will I ever financially recover from this? Okay. I've been wanting to use that joke for a while, okay? <laughs> so thank you. All right. So you will lose someone for your organization at some point. And you, like I have many times, and you'll think, holy crap, what am I going to do now? I'm telling you it's happening for a reason, and you're going to find someone better right after they left. Okay? Video guy right there, Dylan. Stupid good, man. Let's give him a hand. Stupid good, okay? <laughs> There is not a better videographer in Springfield, Missouri, maybe not even Missouri, maybe not even the freaking country than that dude. I'm telling you, the way he busts out content, the way he shoots the right content, and the way he makes like my previous video guy look like a kindergartner is incredible, okay? He won't say it, but trust me, he does, okay? He does, right? Garrett and Derek, sales dudes, man, they are better than the freaking crazy loser sales people I had three years ago, okay? Because when I get better, I attract better people, by the way. When you get better, like right now, we're talking to somebody in Indiana and some other state that's wanting to move to work for us. Like, move to Missouri. It's like, dude, who wants to move to Missouri? <laughs> okay? How freaking cool is that? That's the environment you want. I'm telling you, that's what you want. You want to wake up and people are just so attracted to what you're doing that flipping everyone's flocking to you, man. And before you know it, it's like I can grow that much easier because everyone wants to work with me, right? And it's also, but it's not, it's not all about me, though. It's an extension of the whole thing we've created, right? Which brings me to Andy, okay? I met Andy two years ago. He just hit his two-year anniversary. He started, he started out as my executive assistant. I quickly knew that dude is better than being my assistant, okay? Now he runs the whole thing. He's my COO. And he's unbelievable. Yeah. Dude does everything, okay? And he does things before I ask him to do them. 
Let me say that again. He does things before I ask him to do them. Okay? How often are your employees checking stuff off the to-do list that you didn't even know was on the to-do list? That's pretty rare, right? It's pretty freaking spectacular. Number two, which is why I talked about my team first, is gain time. Also, I guarantee you the two breakouts I do will probably be different. <laughs> I just can't help it. I can't do the same thing two times in a row. Okay. So if you're like, dude, this is incredible, stick around. Okay. <laughs> Gain time. Okay. Start thinking about, well, here's what I want you to do. In your spare time, okay, I want you to make this as a note and then do this later. I want you to write the top 10 things that you do every single day. The top 10 tasks that you do every day. Once you have the 10 written down, I want you to circle the top three. Then you need to eventually get other people to do the other seven. Oh, boom. Boom. Wow. Okay. Yes, sir. So are we talking about the 10 most productive things or just the things you do? Well, you may do a bunch of non-productive things. I don't know. Right? right? <laughs> what? <laughs> No, no, no. I would hope you do. I hope you have ten things that you do more often than brush your teeth, even though you should do that. Okay, you should do that, right? I'm talking about okay. You know what? Checking emails, social media, shooting a video, interviewing people, right? Running appointments, making calls, whatever. Okay, and then I want you to organize them by highest to lowest priority, right? That's what I'm saying. Okay, it's not like the first thing that comes to your mind. It's highest to lowest priority. Totally. Income generating activities. Yes. When I do my speech called, I'm not doing it today, but when I do my speech called Eight Rules to Eight Figures, I always talk about focusing on revenue number one. Okay. Focusing on revenue number one. That's right. Absolutely. Dude is, dude okay. is freaking pouring with new money constantly. Dude's crazy. I love it. I watch him and I'm like, I got to pick it up. Okay. Uh, I know I do. The, you, d delegating. Okay. You got to begin to start to delegate a little bit. Right now, if you're making $22,000 a year, it ain't probably the time to delegate. Okay. However, there will come a time. But first, you got to make some money, right? You got to start picking up more of this. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Thanks, bro. That's true. That's true. Thank you. Next is one of the best things I do, and I, and, I, and, I, and I go back and forth every now and then on whether I should have one. Having an assistant totally changed the game. I walk in to Starbucks coffee every morning. I get asked what I want for lunch every day, okay? Now you're like, dude, you're a spoiled brat. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> work for it. Thank freaking goodness, too, man. I, I, I don't like sitting in Starbucks. Who likes sitting in Starbucks line for 15 minutes? Like, come on. It's, it's ridiculous, right? She pre-orders it and picks it up, however, okay? Still sounded good. <laughs> so how do you start to gain your time back, right? How do you start to gain your time back? Time is the most valuable asset we have. I'm always focused on how can I gain time, which is which hence why I'm not doing one-on-one -on -one coaching through Zoom and, and, and people have to come to me, by the way, okay? Which if you're thinking about leaving this early, um, I would not because I got a special surprise at the end, okay? I'm just gonna throw that out there, right? You guys still with me? Yep. You guys still awake? Yep. Okay, you said, yep. you said yep really quick, so thank you, okay? Are we awake? Are we ready? Okay, good, good. What did I say the other night about, about talking to someone that's not engaged or paying attention, right? Like, I've got to always check in with you guys. Why? Because you go to sleep and you don't hear what I say. <laughs> true or true? true? Number three, I'm going to give you some uh, unique strategies for starting to actually hire salespeople, recruit downlines, local office salespeople, whatever. Okay, whatever. One of the things that I do a lot hence the video camera in the back, that has paid off a ton, is putting out content every single day. Five years ago, nobody knew who Cody Askins was. In the grand scheme of things, nobody still really knows who Cody Askins is. You guys do now, right? But if I wouldn't have started and interviewed incredible people like Marlon along the way, okay? What's happened, since, stand up for me, buddy. Uh, what's happened since that interview? Because uh, we did it about a year ago. It's got like 30,000 views, by the way. Who, who's seen that? Homeless to 100 grand a month? Okay. It's on my YouTube channel. You have to find that. It's, 
unfreaking believable. You say you've seen it 15 times. Um, well, I lost a lot of weight because I'm talking about losing weight and I'm bigger than a tick on a fat dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about losing weight and I can be like, I was like, <sighs> 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 um, I probably had no less than 100 people reach out to me. I probably recruited 40 people just from that video. Mm. Wow. Wow. Mm. That I, didn't, I, didn't, yeah, I went to see Cody because he's my buddy. I didn't going to kind of do a video and he's saying well let's 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 hang out let's talk and so we're talking and we're hanging out with his team and I'm motivating the staff and he's like oh let's walk around the office and oh look here those are ambush <laughs> 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 look, right. look at my hair in that video I'm just wearing clothes and, and, we, and we just lay it down but since that time the, 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 the most important thing that's happened is I've raised my confidence was raised that's, that's the awesome. most important thing that's happened that's awesome. How impressive is this guy, by the way? Okay, thank you, buddy. Thank you. Okay. Do what? And he's a much smaller tick. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. I was literally watching that. Um, I went and looked at it yesterday. No, no, it was. No, Nate was showing it on the screen. That was in my studio, and I look at that. I'm like, dude, Marlon's lost a lot of weight. Yeah. Yeah. Spontaneity is powerful. He said it was his. That was his plan. It's crazy. Yeah, we didn't plan any of it. I didn't even, I didn't even have note cards for questions. No, the other thing, that, the other thing that, that happened was I saw for the first time in my life a true entrepreneur that was in different spaces but managing it all and had the energy and I met his mom and his dad and his family but all these people around him, what I saw was that you want to surround yourself with good people. Mm. Like I saw for the first time in my life um, really someone who was building an empire and just letting me see a glimpse that it, it expanded my vision, so that's what I call Thanks, buddy. Give Marlon a hand. Thank you, bro. Awesome. Okay, thank you. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. I said the other night, most people think that businesses build people. Most of you think, dude, I can grab anybody. I can make anybody successful. I can drag anyone in success. Okay? I, I used to think so, too. You cannot, right? You cannot. If, if, if you know they're not a good fit for your organization, don't hire them. We think, I think I can make anyone phenomenal at sales. It ain't true. Guess what? If they don't want to be phenomenal at sales, right. I can't. That's right? right? Yeah. People build businesses. People is the most important part of this whole deal. You want people. You need people. You want to do something special? It takes incredible people. You cannot do anything really big and really special and really unique and really attention getting as a solopreneur. You can't. And it's selfish, by the way. I was a control freak. I'm a 65 red. Okay, I was a control freak. I think I'm a decently functional, crazy high red now. Okay. That wasn't always the case, by the way. Okay. However, I knew that I needed people. I knew that I need to get out of my own way to allow amazing people to help in this mission. Yes, ma'am. Yes, please. Could you just break up for a moment and just dive? Because Springfield, I'm from Missouri by South. Awesome. So um, I live in Springfield, so we're back. Cool. So um, could you just wake up for a moment and be like, okay, I'm just going to start a business? I mean, because how does it work? Because I live in Columbia and it's, I, I don't know. I don't even know where to start. Yeah. That's a great question, right? I have no staff, no people. Where do I start? Okay, who else is like, okay, I have that question. Okay, good. Great job, by the way. Okay, give her a hand for having the courage to ask that, by the way. Okay. At the end. Yeah, at the, at the end. That's right. Start at the end. Okay. You need, yeah. The, the first thing I would do is I would think about when you have no people, you need more of what? Money. Money than people, right? Money than people. So how do you get, how do you, uh, had you that task, that task list, okay? Should you, in your example, I'm gonna ask you guys a question. Each, every, every person will probably be different. Should you bring on someone to help with some of those tasks part-time, or should you bring on an additional salesperson to help drive the revenue? Okay, I believe the salesperson. However, you will eventually need an assistant, right? But as, I didn't have an assistant for, for years. Okay, and there's some, there's a lot, I mean, Andy could handle stuff. Okay, we don't, we don't, you know, 
technically have to keep Kelly, right? If you're watching this, you're incredible, I love you, and we need you, okay? <laughs> But I mean, technically though, could I get my own coffee, my own lunch, schedule my own appointments, manage my own calendar, book my own speaking engagements and my own flights, right? I do not want to, okay? Kelly, I'm looking for somebody. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're, man, I gotta get moving, okay? Uh, after content, I've got my dad to start doing um, weekly training webinars on Fridays that he promotes with ads. And then he's educating people on Fridays in this webinar and he ends up getting someone to join his team every single week. He does a weekly recruiting webinar. He doesn't call it a recruiting webinar. He calls it, you know, six steps to a six figure income or whatever, right? He changed up the title so they're attractive and sexy, et cetera. But that is a, they get agents, handful of agents every week because of that. They'll get 250 agents this year, easy because of that one strategy. Okay. So how does he market that webinar? Our marketing company manages, <laughs> manages. How do we market that webinar? Uh, that's a good question. Yeah, you call Rodney. Where's Rodney? Uh, say he should have been here. Okay. Andy, get rid of him. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> so, social. Okay. So, so, social. Uh, if you have, a, if, I would start building up an email list, by the way. Okay. Everyone needs an email list. We are freaking banging on the email list. Who gets, who gets our emails? Who gets our emails every day? Yeah, yeah. Some people are like, dude, you send me too many. Well, some, sometimes I do, okay? Sometimes I do, right? And eventually, out of like social, warm market, content, email list, eventually you gotta start throwing some money behind it and start doing some advertising. So our team does, our marketing company manages kind of this kind of stuff and we do Facebook advertising to drive registrations for webinars, okay? My dad spends a thousand bucks a week. You don't have to start there, okay? You don't what have to start really there. What's really weird is for 8% last year, I'm getting on a plane and looking at Facebook, and I'm yeah. getting on a plane to go to 8%, and there's you, hey, come to 8%. Yeah. <laughs> Still advertising. That's awesome. Before. Who's seen an 8% ad while they've been in Texas, by the way? Huh, deal, huh, <laughs> funny, okay, funny. You think anybody else did that no. for them? We got, 200, we got 250 insurance agents sitting right here. Why would I not show ads to them? Okay, that's why you're in this breakout, okay? All right. Eventually, that's right, eventually build out, build out a team of people that are recruiting for you. Right? Like in our office, I, I write down every morning I want to hire 50, I want, I want 50, I, I, I have 50 salespeople. That's what I actually write down. I have 50 salespeople. Andy and Kelly are running interviews every week to hire salespeople. Now, I'm, I'm, our marketing company has like 15. Our CA side has four at the moment because I'm very hard on the individuals that work on the CA side. They're either going to like freaking put in the work and listen or I'm shipping them over to the marketing building or I'm getting rid of them. Okay, so I'm, I'm, a, little, I'm a lot harder on these guys, right? Like Derek, but Derek made like freaking, I don't know, 17, 18, 19 grand last month. True? That doesn't suck, does it? You think I can end up recruiting other salespeople to, to move to Missouri if that's the case? Yeah. Yeah. Now, they don't get their act together, we'll ship them back, okay? All right. <laughs> so build out a team of people that you can start having them as your email list grows, right? As your social presence grows, as you're advertising in the webinars. Like for example, my dad gets about 100 people to register for his webinar every Friday. He markets it from Monday through Thursday. He does it on Friday. Guess what? Email, they're, they're, they all give him emails. They could all be texted, they could all be called. He could offer free strategy sessions or, or free Zooms every week, right? The stuff I'm telling you, I, I would, is some of the stuff I would tell in a $10,000 session, by the way, okay? So, I believe in building out teams for everything. Sales teams, especially sales teams. I do not want to have a company that doesn't have a sales team. Because my sales team how many of our um, CA sales reps are profitable? All of, them. All of them. How many of our marketing reps are profitable? All of them. So why wouldn't I have 50? Okay, now it took some time to get to that. You gotta figure the thing, the game out along the way, right? However, that's why I love that. Okay, so th there's, th there's three unique strategies. Okay, four, 
I believe in scaling now, by the way. A lot of people believe in waiting. I believe in taking action now. A lot of people believe, like Coach Burt keeps saying, it's in, it's in your benefit to take action, okay? It is, and I believe in scaling now. I don't believe in waiting. There's some stuff I should have done sooner, right? We can, we can all have regrets. However, start thinking about how do you get to the end quicker and how do you do it now, okay, instead of waiting. Who's already writing down a note or had an idea of something you know that you need to go back and do, by the way, okay? Okay, right? You've been patient and then keep raising your hand and, and so, and I hadn't called on you yet, so, okay? So, think about that, and I, and I love Lori, so. I I, good, thank you. She don't even need the money, okay? But, but, but I love her, so I'm just gonna keep giving it to her, okay? How do you get to where you do it now? How do you get to where you scale now? How do you get to where it happens now? Why wait, right? Why wait? If time is our most valuable asset, why are we so complacent and why do we wait on doing stuff that we know we should actually do now, right? Like who knows that they would eventually like truthfully, that they would eventually like to tour our two buildings and hang out with me for an entire day in my office, and I'm giving you strategies, and we're doing YouTube interviews and all that. Okay, good. And you should, by the way, right? Is that going to be like the best operation on planet Earth? Probably not. However, are you going to, is it going to make you think bigger? Is it going to motivate you? Is it going to give you a ton of ideas on how to run a staff and a team and a ton of other ideas along the way? Yes. Yes. Okay. Say I if you want to come to Springfield, Missouri. I. Come on now. I. 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 I'm, I'm, I'm going back tomorrow. Jump on the plane. Okay, all right. Number five, details delay. Everybody always talks about analysis paralysis. I call it details delay. What was the title for four? Scale now. Scale now was four. Yes, procrastination. That's right. I believe that details delay. Everyone wants to ask a bajillion questions, and I want to see the this or that. Just freaking do something, man. We did the Texas tour. Uh, who, who came to our Texas training tour? Um, wow. Oh, I did. Yes, you did. Okay, good. Yeah, so Dallas, um, uh, Houston, San Antonio, and Austin. We went to four cities in four days. We had over, I set the target that I wanted a thousand agents to register in four little cities, right? And they, and they, and just insurance agents. Like it's a pretty high target, right? I told my team, I want to do a tour. Literally 30 minutes later, the whole thing is planned. I don't care about the, I don't, I don't, we had 250 sign up before we even released where it was, where the hotels were going to be. <laughs> Who cares? The first 8%, I released the dates before I released the venue. I released the dates in a speaker before I even released where we were going to be speaking. That's kind of weird. But details delay. Right? So I know, if I know I need to do it now, if I know that, that, that details delay, then I'm going to see, okay, how fast can I make a decision? Because what I've learned is the faster I go from idea to execution, the more successful the idea is, by the way. But there's a psychology in that, too, that if you're releasing those details, You've now back, put your back to the wall. That's right. And you have no choice but to move forward. That's Absolutely. That's why I say, you know, if you're, if you're in this, book your test now. Yes. Yep. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's good. Because so true. You got a, now you've got a target. You so start, true. You put your back to the wall. You put skin in the game. Every, instead of worrying about what everybody else thinks, just release it. Just commit. Just do it, right? Same philosophy. Commit first. Figure the rest out later. Commit first, figure the rest out later. When I set a target, I'm like, dude, how big can I make it and how many people can I tell? That's the thought. When you think about, when you think that, hey, I'm going to leave here and write 100 life insurance policies next month. Fantastic. Okay. Or I'm going to add, or I'm going to go recruit 100 people if you're Marlon. Right? He's recruiting 100 people next month. Okay. The bigger it is, the better it is. If he, if he gets to 67. Did he, did he, is that like bad? No. <laughs> it's freaking amazing. Everybody's like, well, we need real, we need, we need, it needs to be like, you know, uh, it needs to be a target, Marlon, that, you know, don't get too carried away. It's like, dude, get carried away. Yeah. Shoot for the moon and you land among the stars. 
There you go, dude. I, I, and there's a lot of stars. I don't know what their names are, but I like them, you know, okay? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. The next time you hit that, you make that target, you're going to get 80. That's right. I write down, we, we, our two sales teams sell a million dollars every 30 days, by the way. I write that down every single morning. Okay? Every single morning. Dude, there's going to be something happen to you guys in the near future where a door is going to open, right? Successful people do not think they freaking run through it. They don't backtrack. They don't, like, pause. They don't. They overthink. They just freaking go, man, right? They just go. I've learned that I need to be insane. I need to tell as many people as possible. I'm doing Facebook Lives and we're doing email blasts. I'm talking about it on YouTube and all this other stuff. And I'm, we're even spending money on ads before we even know where it's going to be. Who cares? Is it for me to figure out, by the way, what hotel we're going to do the event at? No. Not anymore. I don't care. You put me in any hotel in front of any room with people in it, I'm going to deliver. So I don't care. Cassidy, who is our event coordinator and social media manager, she can handle all that, right? Talk about delegating. <laughs> last, last is the process. The process that we use to add people. Okay, the process that we use to add people. This is a seven-step process, by the way. And I'm going to give you all seven steps. I can't go through it in great detail, but I'm going to give you at least the steps, okay? Say I if you want the steps. I. Say I if you want the steps. I. Come on now. Say I if you want the steps. I. Come on now. Okay. All right. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Number one, find. How do you find good people? How do you find good people? You got to find someone, right? Second, you got to interview them. Third, you have to vet them, right? We're looking at their social media. We're, 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 we're uh, looking at their resume. Can they spell? This is the best version of you, and you have misspelled words? No, thank you, okay? That's stupid, right? Well, Nate, make it. <laughs> Nate wouldn't make it. No, I'm just kidding. I'll take him. Okay, you'll take him. Okay. <laughs> kidding. I love Nate, okay? <laughs> kidding. All right. Also, though, we are now implementing drug test and background checks. Hey, Tony, what was number three? Vet. Vet. V-E-T. Yeah, don't become a vet, but vet people. Okay? Not, you're not a veterinarian, but you're... Okay? Four is hire. Right? We have a lot of details on how we vet and hire, et cetera. Right? We have every salesperson do a disc assessment. We're actually doing a business expansion workshop in Springfield, Missouri uh, in a couple weeks that we'll be going over all of this for three days, okay? Or two and a half days, something like that. So like, like an orientation? Yes. Five is on board. On board. We have everybody watch, everybody we hire the salespersons, we have them watch a video library and watch it all 100% before they show up. We have them watch a video library of me talking about the entire company. They don't watch it, they don't start. And they're lazy. And they don't follow instructions, they're not coachable, and they don't listen. Right? Why wait? Okay? Thank you very much. Have a great life. Okay? <laughs> That's right. Get in the ship. Okay? Number six is train. We watch our, our, my CA sales system and role play every single day, twice a day. I develop great salespeople because if as long as they're reliable, they're coachable, then I will make them great. With our CA sales system, training them every single morning and role playing every single morning, they will get better. We change it up. What, for, for, for the whole week, we role play one specific thing, but we are doing it standing up Right? And we're doing a specific portion of the cell. We're not just randomly getting up and talking back and forth, right? Which is huge. Okay? And then the last, number seven, because I've got to wrap it up, is the first 28 days. Okay? The first 28 days are the most important. If they are not profitable in 28 days, we do not keep them. And we let them know, by the way. 
We let them know. And we, we track all this stuff, man. We track, talk, we track dials, talk time, appointments set, appointments ran, sales, commission. Like we are doing an actual profit and loss on every single salesperson every single month. If it's, if it's important to know, I want to know. And it's important to track. That's right. Okay, that's right. Now, who has loved this, by the way? Okay. Who has loved this? Okay. Who has loved this? Okay. Who has loved this, by the way? Okay. Who's enjoyed this? Who's enjoyed this? Okay. Who's enjoyed this? Okay. Who? Andrew, you enjoyed this, buddy? Yeah, man. This is good stuff. Thank you, bro. Andrew Costas is one of my favorite people on the planet, by the way, from America. If you have not met him, make sure you do. Okay. He's unbelievable. One of the nicest guys in the world. And his son is super fast. Aiden is super fast. That, how cool was that story, by the way? Yeah. Man? That was awesome. I love that. Thank you for sharing that. That was really cool. Really cool. Okay. Who believes that now is your time? Me. Yeah. Yeah. Who believes that you have another level? Yeah. Who believed you've learned something today that could impact the rest of your life? Yeah. Who believes that... I still haven't taught you everything yet. <laughs> and who believes that if we spend an entire day together, your life would change? You would get new ideas. I'm talking about having you speak at our morning meeting. I'm talking about you watching me train my whole sales team. Watch our whole 60, 70 person organization in the other building get together for an AM meeting. Right? I'm talking about you being in my director's meeting. I'm talking about you being in my... 911 CA sales team meeting. I'm talking about you watching me and shadowing me for the whole day. I'm talking about you and I sitting down for two and a half hours and mapping out your future one on one with no distractions. Okay? I'm talking about us going to lunch with some of my key people so that you can ask questions and continue some QA. Okay? I'm talking about in the afternoon you meeting with my father, who's one of the greatest people on the planet, right? And picking his brain. I'm talking about you also meeting with Landon McCarter, my marketing partner, who is a freak. And I'm talking about it doesn't stop there because I'm talking about the ideas that you will get and what you will do after. Who believes they would get a return on investment no matter what they paid, okay? No matter what they paid because I'm telling you, you will 100%. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're gonna love. It's right there, click on it, see you in there. Who likes money, okay? Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. All right, all right. Okay, two more, two more. Sorry.